Hey, what's going on guys? It's Adore here and welcome back to another Clash Royale video and recently uh, I've managed to find a very interesting website that is essentially Clash Royale related. It's really similar to Stats Royale and in a lot of ways I actually think it's a bit better. So this website is called Starfire.Games. Just type that into your search bar and you'll get pulled up to this website right here. And uh, it has some really, really interesting tools. So obviously I'm on my uh, computer right here. So let's go ahead and go to the more tools tab. This is where all the magic is. This is where you have all these really, really cool tips that I'm gonna showcase in this video. So the first one uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys is this chess simulator uh, by this guy named Austin right here where you open fake chess. How cool is that guys? Let's just say, oh hey, I want to open a super magical chess. So you go ahead and just click on this button and it'll actually load up a chess for you which is insanely cool. As you can see here, we got 5 mirrors, 6 poisons, 13 executioners, 147 zappies, and 566 minions as well as an inferno dragon. So yeah, this is really cool. It just uh, basically shows you guys what you can possibly get from a super magical chest or any of these other chests as well. Alright, so this next one, so this next feature that we have that is really, really nice is the best current challenge decks. This shows you guys, uh, it's really similar to Stats Royale, it just shows you guys the best uh, decks in challenges. Obviously right now there is the YouTuber challenge going on so the top 10 decks will obviously just be those YouTuber decks. Also right here there's a best 2v2 decks as well which is really interesting. Uh, Stats Royale does not have a best 2v2 decks thing. It basically shows you the 2v2 decks that actually have the highest win rate. So if you're really interested in playing 2v2 obviously give some of these decks a try. A lot of them are really really effective for 2v2. Next up, uh, we have this uh, feature called Battles Analysis right here. Here, it's probably my favorite tool. As you can see, all you have to do is go ahead and enter in your player tag right here. And it'll go ahead and give you, you know, your basic username, player tag right here, level, trophies, you know, your clan. And then it also gives you your recent battle. So as you can see here, here's all of my recent battles. And you can also click on these dots on the side to go into detail on each one of your battles right here. And also there's this overall statistics category right here. It gives you your win rate, which a uh, <laughs> good thing mine's above 50%. Your wins, draws, losses, your crowns earned. Uh, which is 15 in the last 20 games or so and my last battle was one day ago obviously I'm just waiting for the season to end and here it also shows you a really interesting statistic it's the average level of cards faced as you can see my deck is full of level 12 commons and here I'm facing level 13 commons almost level 11 rares and almost max epics which is really really annoying it also shows you guys the deck that I'm using and then it also shows a really really interesting statistic uh, It shows you which cards you have trouble with so here as you can see I usually lose or draw against these cards over here and uh, if you just take a look at it uh, I typically lose against decks that have knight and mega minion I have trouble with minor I have trouble with mirror matchups I have trouble with hog so this is actually really really accurate and here I usually win against minion horde I went against a lot of bait cards I went against bombers so yeah this just shows you guys what cards you might have trouble with and what other cards that you know you have, you're fine with taking care of all right so next up we have this deck called deck bandit this is a really really nice tool it just shows you guys what decks you can use that are very effective on ladder for your card level so as you can see here find the best decks for me right here and you can go ahead and click on your card levels as you can see uh, you can look up the top challenge decks, you can look up the top decks if you're a max level, and then here you have certain card levels that you can choose. So let's say right now I'm a level 12 with level 12 commons, level 9 rares, level 5 epics, and level 2 legendaries. So I can just go ahead and click on that button right there, and it'll show me the best decks that I can use as a level 12. As you can see right here, uh, this uh, player right here has managed to reach 5200 trophies with a classic mortar cycle deck so this guy's obviously an absolute mortar god and uh, as you see ouch right here he's using a really similar deck to mine and he also reached 5234 trophies but let's say i'm a level 10 let's say i'm level 10 with about level 10 commons level 7 rares level 4 epics and level 1 legendary so i'll just go ahead and click on that button right there and as you can see uh, there are players that have reached 41 100 trophies 
just using these about tournament standard cards. So that's actually really impressive. And that means all of these decks right here really, really work without that high level of cards. All right. And last but not least, we have this feature called the deck builder. Now, this is pretty similar to uh, the deck raider thing that supercell featured recently but anyways you can go ahead and uh, ma uh pick your deck right here i'm just gonna go ahead and randomize a deck because i don't really have a deck i want to rate and uh, let's go ahead and randomize them all so it looks like i have this deck right here and uh, let's click the done button to show that you're done with the deck and if you scroll down it'll go ahead and analyze the deck for you as you can see average elixir cost is 4.1 minimum cycle cost is uh, 13 there are six troops as well as two spells one common three rare cards two epics and two legendaries And it just really breaks down the deck It shows you guys the card damage types the card targets and ground ground as well as friendly and then it shows you You have six ground troops So here's the checklist that you can that is really really good when you're making a deck It shows you guys what cards can target air what cards can target buildings what cards are single damage What cards can distract ground what cards can Stun, what cards can target ground, what cards deal area damage, what cards can fly, as well as what cards are spammy. So yeah, this checklist is really effective when you're trying to make a good deck all on your own. Alright guys, so that's just a basic overview of Starfire.games. This is a really nice website with all of these features uh, that you can use in your daily Clash Royale life. So unfortunately guys, that is all the time for in today's video. If you enjoyed, please like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, this is Legend Array, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.